Hey guys, this is John Scarborough. I uh, wanted to show another little washout that we're going to work on today. Uh, I know that I sound like a broken record. I just continually talk about fixing washouts and how to how to do your grazing and things to do with your hay to make it to where your you know your pastures are better. Okay, and I know that I continue to talk about some of the same stuff, but I'm not trying to say the same thing over and over again. I'm actually trying to show different examples of things you can do um, or different examples of, of things that have been a problem in the past and kind of my way of fixing them and things that I've seen that works all right um, so you know if, if you've seen enough of these videos and you know that that you know you kind of understand the the concept then go ahead skip it if you want to uh, I just wanted to show another quick example here this is a washout that has to actually not been here before it kind of occurred over the course of the winter and sometimes you'll have these places here and there for whatever reason especially when you've got hills this steep i don't even know if the camera can pick up how steep this hill is okay so you have these issues all right so this is heading down to this creek down here okay all right so we've got a pretty good washout i'd say that's about uh two foot there and then it starts to really fold out here so if i let the cows out into this they're going to start tearing that up and they're not going to let it recover plus it's a straight wall drop so as i've said in the past it's not going to get any growth on there not enough to hold the amount of water that builds up by the time it all comes from the top of that hill all the way down here so really simple easy fix all we're going to do this starts this starts to wash out and and it kind of starts getting better and better as you go up so all we're going to do is start up here and just drag the bale right off the back of the truck, unroll it all the way across here. And you wanna make sure that you kinda of know how far your bales are gonna unroll if, you got, if you're heading into a creek here. So I know my bales and I kinda of know how, you know, it depends on the wind row and all like that, how big the wind row is done. So I kinda of know how far is safe. I know that right in here, I'm gonna make sure that my bale gets over that and that's all I'm really cared about. I mean, the end of the bale can end up over and over in here somewhere you know i just want to make sure it doesn't go off in there so anyway unroll this here make sure that it's not during a rain we've got we got no rain in the forecast for the next four days so this bale should be consumed before the problem before they would start tearing it up uh the grass the green grass is going to start growing and coming on real thick here we're probably going to quit feeding hay um sooner this year than usual i mean it's probably going to be the middle middle of february which is actually really good for us um and the, the cows are getting a lot of good out of this right now this is this is not actually good forage for winter stockpile but what they're actually getting right now out of this uh is every time they reach down and grab a, a bite of that green grass right there of whatever this green growth is and anytime once the grass starts picking up we, in the next two weeks this stuff's going to start getting a blade on it it's going to get up pretty good height when they reach down and grab that typically if they're only getting green grass in the winter time they can start getting scours and stuff okay um no not the scours i mean really it's just more like diarrhea and it's, it's because of high protein and, and different things like that in the green grass but when they get a bite of this mixed in with that green grass okay when they get those together this right here is a roughage it's not got a lot of good value to it right now anymore but it's got some roughage in it so this right here is going to help keep them from just just blowing out okay guys so anyway i just want to throw those couple little tips out there uh what we're going to do and show you all some things and then i'm hoping this spring once the grass does start growing and everything to go back over a lot of the areas that i've gone and tried to uh, try to do some repairing on hopefully go back and show y'all the the results why it's such a why i make such a big deal out of it why i show spots over and over and over again this spot that spot the other spot where i'm unrolling hay how it's doing serving a uh, good purpose to me how i'm putting 35 dollars right there into a good valuable um, not just feeding my cow but i'm also doing lots of good things for the future uh, of our farm so anyway guys i just want to throw that out there uh y'all stay tuned and we may y'all may get lucky in the next two weeks i might be showing you all this same spot so thanks everybody don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos um and if you've watched more than two you are now uh bound to subscribe so anyway thanks everybody